Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 16 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So there you can see we have a power line, right? And this power line carries the current changes with the frequency f, and the peak value is given as I naught. And then tell us just above the farmland, right? And uh, and there on the ground, there is a farmer construct a vertically oriented uh, a loop. This is a wire loop, right? Just uh, there. This uh, loop we can see is a coil. And uh, the head is a uh, two meter. And then ask you the length L. Ask you what is the length L? What should the length L of the coil be to make this uh, coil? Can just uh, carry the voltage of the uh, the voltage with the frequency f as a 16 hertz and the peak value as a v naught. At the first time when we look at this problem, we may think, "Wow, it is so difficult." But wait, we can solve it together and see step by step. It is very easy. See, first one we have a current in this uh, or in this wire, right? And uh, this changing current will bring the magnetic field. Do you agree? So this magnetic field will just uh, surround it. Let's say just uh, surround, surround it in a circle in this way, right? When it reaches to the coil, it's pointing in, right? Yes. And uh, when this coil is there, and then the magnetic field will get it through it, just cross it. And as we consider, this magnetic field from this wire kept changing because it says this current changes with frequency, right? So the B kept changing, the magnetic influence for this coil kept changing. As we talk about, changing magnetic influence will bring the induced EMF, agree? So now this EMF the question comes be simple. Is this induced EMF in this coil will carry the voltage with frequency F and the peak value as a V naught? So it looks like we must find the induced EMF for this coil, right? So we can write it there. This is negative N times D phi T, right? Divided by DT. This is a changing of magnetic influx with the time divided by time it brings the induced EMF. Now, next question. How can you find the magnetic influence? That is, uh, do the integral B with A, right? Because the magnetic field is kept changing in this coil. It is changes with the radius R. So first of all, we need to find the magnetic field by this wire, right? A power line by this power line. So we write it in this way. This is a magnetic field as a straight wire, right? So we can see this current I changes with the cosine. It is the keyword there. So cosine 2 pi f t. 2 pi f is as a angular velocity, right? Angular frequency. So now you can write down the B at there. And then we do the integral, right? For B with A. The A you can write it as a L times dr, agree? L times dr. And then this dr from the r1 to r2. So r1 as the top side of the coil. So from the seven meter, minus two meter, four meter. The bottom side is a seven meter, right? So now you can say in this interval, you can get the function look like this one, right? Yes, now we input this phi inside, do the d phi with dt, so we get the function look like this one, and simplified is this one. Now, this is a coil, from, this is a coil induced EMF, and it will just carry the, another equipment with the voltage frequency f, and the peak value is v naught. So that means we need to find the, make sure this peak value for epsilon is v naught. Right, so epsilon max is a v naught. So the maximum means this sine term becomes one, right? So sine term becomes one, so it becomes this one, and then you can convert this equation, get the function for L, input all the given quantities, get the answer there. 
Next question. Would it be unethical? Of course, because this is exactly the way you connected to the power line, right? You get the electric energy from this wire, and we talk about energy is conserved. So this energy induced EMF by this coil exactly come come from the power line, right? But if you do this way, you don't try to pay it. So this is unethical. Thank you.